Hey guys, coming to you from outside my house, sitting in the driveway because my wife's working inside with my daughter and can't make too much noise. Anyway, I wanted to introduce Momentum to you, which is real quick and easy and is the main concept of this chapter here. So we already know that if I throw something like a ball or a bowling ball or whatever, whoops, um, that it, if it's moving, it wants to stay moving. And this is what momentum has to deal with. We already knew that an object at rest wants to stay at rest, and an object that's moving wants to stay moving. But momentum, and that's called inertia by the way, but momentum is basically just inertia in motion. So we're just focusing on the moving part of it there. So now you have some intuitive sense of momentum and an intuitive sense of things that are moving want to stay moving and how to like get out of the way, so to speak. So if I moderately threw this little pebble at you, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if at the same speed I threw this brick at you, you would get out of the way. So what's the difference there? Whoops, got a bunch of dirt on the page now. The difference there is clearly the mass. So mass makes a difference in terms of momentum. The other thing that makes a difference is if I moderately threw a little pebble at you and I shot one out of a cannon, you would know that that one would be more dangerous to be in front of. So the other big thing that matters is the velocity. So the mass and the velocity are what matter for momentum. So when we put the two together, momentum can also actually be defined as simply the mass times the velocity. So if we put it into an equation form, it looks something like this. Momentum, and the symbol for momentum is a lowercase p uh, from an old Latin word, is mass times velocity there. So the units for momentum then, since it's mass times velocity, mass is measured in kilograms, velocity is measured in meters per second, and so we get kilogram meters per second is the unit for momentum. Now we've given other things sort of like this names like newtons or joules or watts, but we've never given this a name at all. I have written to the American Association of Physics Teachers and proposed that we call this unit a franc. I have yet to hear back from them. But it's kilogram meters per second is a cumbersome way that we have to say it. So a real simple problem then would simply be Let's say you had something that was 8 kilograms and it was going 3 meters per second. Well then to find the momentum, you'd simply multiply those two, mass times velocity. So 8 times 3 would be 24 kilogram meters per second of momentum. Maybe if you wanted to make it a little bit harder, you could give the momentum and ask to find one of the others. Like for example, if you said that the momentum was a hundred kilogram meters per second and that the mass of it was five kilograms then you would just set it up. M momentum equals mass times velocity so 100 equals the mass five times velocity. This would be in kilogram meters per second that would just be in kilograms so when you solve for velocity it'd be 20 meters per second. That is basically it with one more little bit of information. Momentum is a vector. Sometimes you'll see books denote that by putting a little arrow like that over the momentum, and velocity is also a vector, by the way. So what does this mean? Well, the last chapter, all the stuff we've been doing online so far has been scalars, where the velocity didn't matter. So when we did work, positive work means you gave it work, but now, just like it used to be, positive momentum will mean to the right, or whatever we designate to be a positive um, direction and negative momentum will be to the left or whatever we designate to be a negative direction. Whatever the direction of the velocity is, that's the direction of momentum and that makes sense. If this ball is moving to the right, it wants to stay moving, but it wants to stay moving to the right. So again, momentum is basically how much something wants to stay moving. The more mass it has, the more it wants to stay moving. The more velocity it has, the more it wants to stay mo moving. And we can give it an actual number in kilogram meters per second.